throw a little bit more light on the biblical scenario of Adam choosing. And he made, as a free creature who was made perfect, he had the option, the freedom, to choose evil. And that had consequences both for himself and for the environment. And Genesis comments on that. As you've mulled that over in your head, put a couple more things to that. You can explain all of evil right there in Genesis 3. God said, you are free to take of every tree of the garden. So they were free. They made their choice, and God blamed them when they made their choice. But what happened? Sin, death, suffering, pain, all entered the world there. The creation was made subject to bondage. You could explain everything in the world right there as a result of that action. And we were all in Adam, according to Romans 5, uh, 12, we were all present in Adam. Well, we were there potentially. Uh, we were uh, there probably legally in the sense that he was our legal representative. Uh, and as a consequence, the legal and actual uh, result of Adam's sin fell on the whole human race. Romans 5, 12, by one man, sin entered the world, death by sin, death passed upon all men. In Romans 8, uh, 29 and following, the whole creation was made subject to bondage. So there's the whole story because you have an evil spirit, which brings in another factor. All of the rest of the evil in the universe can be accounted for by evil spirits, the devil and demons, making their free choice to inflict pain and evil and suffering on people like Job.